here we go welcome to our regeneration class i'm coach clint and we will be going over some good stretches today to recover from our week and just kind of learn how our body works within space while we are waiting for everybody else to pop on we're going to do our quick little tip of the day and joke because we like that kind of stuff right that's the fun stuff we get to do so our tip of the day today is all about you so five things to remind yourself i am amazing i can do anything positivity is a choice i celebrate my individuality and i am prepared to succeed those are all really important things that we've talked about through different aspects within this whole uh, mindset piece that we've been going over, being adaptable, being having perseverance, just setting really good goals. That all kind of culminates within this little piece right here. Just remember, you're amazing. You want to succeed. All this stuff is really important. Okay. And then and our joke of the day, and thank you, my son, Lucas, for coloring in our guy. And it actually looks really good on camera today. Joke of the day, what happened to the man who contemplated his future on the treadmill? Stick around to the end. And if I remember, I'll tell you the answer. All right, guys. So you do not need any equipment, but if you have a mini band, go ahead and grab your mini band. Okay, we will use it just for the warm up piece today. If you don't have one, the warm up is exactly the same. This is just to add a little more resistance, wake our glutes up a little more. So if you have one, grab it real quick. Again, if you want to be barefoot, please do so. It does change how these movements work because it forces you to balance a little more. Uh, but if your feet stink and you don't want to be stinky in your own little space, that's okay too. Okay, or if your husband or wife will get mad at you if you're barefoot on your floor. I don't know. I'm in a dance studio, so I'm safe. Okay, mini band goes up to your knee. We're going to get in that good base position. So slightly seat or slight, slightly sit back. Get that good base position. We're just going to do glute activation here. I'm going to go out with my knees, come back over my feet. Just like that, we're going to do 10 of those. Squeezing those glutes. If you don't have the mini band, you're doing the same thing. But make sure that those glutes are on fire. You're trying to tear that floor apart. You're trying to extend those legs out, pulling against those glutes, and then back in. I'm never coming inside of my toes, nice and strong. Keep that core tight. Nothing should be moving but those legs. Two, one, good. Now we're gonna go just one knee at a time. So I'm gonna go out and back. Notice my foot is not coming off the ground. I'm rotating through my knee squeezing that glute we're just doing five we've got one more then we're switching now if you want you can use your hand make sure you're activating that glute you're squeezing your glute it's okay when we're doing fitness okay if you're just walking around the grocery store maybe not okay but make sure that for this you're activating the proper muscles keeping them nice and strong and Relax. All right. Pop that mini band off. If you had it, if you didn't, you get to save a step. That's always nice, right? We're going to go hand walks to shoulder tap. So we're going to hand walk out. We're going to slide our hands down our legs. We're going to hand walk out into a plank position. Lock in. Okay. Shoulder tap, opposite arm, opposite shoulder, right hand, left shoulder, switch. Notice my hips don't move. I'm nice and locked into that core. Drive those hips up nice and high now here's your choice you get a choice right now and i'll let you choose you can either walk your hands back like i am or you can walk your feet forward whichever one you want to do good fold forward slide those hands down those legs hand walk out now remember this is a one-way camera so i cannot see you so please be safe in your space make sure you have a little room around you shoulder tap Okay, we are gonna be down into plank position a little bit. We're gonna be doing some movement. So please have a little space around you and make sure that if anything's dangerous around you, walk those hands back and roll up. Please move it out of your way. No injuries during classes. Okay, fold forward, last one, hand walk out. And with that, if you start feeling weird, like even doing these hand walks or something, shoulder tap, and you just start feeling a little funny, please take a break wherever you need. 
Okay, relax, get some water, and then jump right back in if you feel up to it. Okay, walk those hands back and roll up. This is all about being safe. So please be safe. I want you moving. I don't want you getting sick. Okay, let's go 90 90 position. So I'm going to get into that. Uh, I like the raptor position, the fetal position, right? This is how they always find raptors in the movie as bones kind of curled up. So 90 degree at the knee, 90 degree at the hip. Okay, we're going to rotate, take a deep breath. We're just going to open up taking that top hand, coming all the way back as far as I can without these knees separating. Breathe out at the back. Deep breath in as we close down. We're gonna do three of these on each side. Try to get a little further each time, open up. Now, if you've done 90 90s before and you're able to touch all the way back there without splitting your knees, okay, that's the big one without splitting your knees. If you wanna try a little different 90-90 here, watch this next one, okay? I'm gonna open up straight up and down. Now I'm gonna drive that shoulder and elbow straight back, called the 90-90 arm bar, okay? A little different. And if you want, you can try that one. Just make sure those knees stay stacked. Reaching up, closing down, switch sides, okay? This is the fun part. You get to pretend like you're a break dancer, spin around on the floor, flipping over. Nice. Here we go. Open up. Now, this is still the warm up. This is the easy part. One side might feel easier. So just go to where you feel that stretch, maybe a little beyond, and then come back. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do two on this side. We always want to be fairly similar, right? We want to help our body as much as we can be the same. One side will always be a little tighter. That's normal but I'm gonna keep my movements very similar. So this last one, I'm gonna go 90-90 arm bar. <sighs> Deep breath, come straight up. Drop that shoulder and elbow towards the back of the room. Try to tap them behind me. <sighs> Can't quite get there, but I'm closer than I was before. And then reach up and close down. All right, we're gonna do a little neural activation before we start the actual stretching. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of get our blood flow going just a little bit, wake us up a little in our afternoon, reaching up towards the sky, coming up on those toes, on go. We're gonna drop into that base position. Okay, from there, second go. We're just gonna go two inch runs, nice and easy. You can go as fast or as slow as you want here. Okay, we're gonna do two of those, and then we're gonna do some stability stuff. So all the way up, first go, drop in, ready and go. And go, nice quick feet here. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Three, two, one, and relax, good. Reach up, go, go, fast feet. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, this time two to one. So I start on two feet. When I say go, you choose which leg to drop to. Okay, so if you drop to your right, then your next one, you're going to go left. I'm just going to say go. You're dropping two feet to one. Ready? And go. Find that balance. If you need to kickstand, that's okay. But try to find that balance. Good. Back up. Go. Woo, and this is where you find which leg's better. Here we go. All the way up. One more each side. Go. Good, last one, all the way up. Make this your best one. And go. And relax, nice. All right, let's get into it. If you need a quick drink, let's get it. And then let's get back into it. So this first one, we're gonna go leg abducted T-spine rotation. Fancy way of saying stretching our lower body and our back along with some shoulders. So I'm gonna get into a quad position to start. So all fours. I'm gonna kick my right leg out. Make sure that that toe is pointing straight towards you guys, okay? So this other leg is still in that quad position. I'm gonna sit back just a little bit. So I'm gonna start feeling a stretch right here on the inside of my leg. From there, I'm gonna take my hand, reach behind my head, tuck underneath, and rotate up towards the sky with that elbow. Tuck under, 
and rotate up towards the sky. We're gonna do five of these on each side. Take your time, tuck under, rotate up. Now you should feel a stretch in the leg. You should feel a stretch in your back, maybe even your shoulder. I'm gonna show you from the side now, just a different view of it. Okay, so you can kind of see how I'm sit seating back a little. Good, rotating up. Let's go two more. Now remember, this is our recovery day. Our strength day is Tuesday. We're doing our recovery from all of our Olympic training we're doing this month, getting ready for the, the Olympic day on the 23rd. One more. Up. And relax. We do have a fun little cardio piece at the end. Okay, go ahead and get set in your next one. Notice quad position. I step that leg out, toe pointed straight forward. Okay, from there I sit back just a little bit, not all the way to my heel, about halfway, tuck under, rotate up. Deep breaths in through your nose as you come under, out through your mouth as you rotate up. Breath is important, in and out, all the way up. It's harder to do when you're talking, but that's okay. Here we go underneath. Get your five, a little quicker this round because you kind of know what you're doing now. Underneath and up. Now you also could take your arm all the way up, kind of like the world's greatest stretch. You could reach under and then up. If you want to make it a little more for the shoulder, and relax. All right, here we go. Quad hip flexor stretch. This is one of my favorites to do, especially if I've gone running or anything like that. I'm going to step one leg out. So my front leg in this case is my left. My down leg is my right. I'm going to squeeze my right glute and I'm going to push to the front of the room straight ahead. So I'm going to try to slide the wall away from me. In doing that, I'm creating tension in this hip flexor and in my quad. Okay, we're gonna alternate each one. So we're gonna reach, hold, relax back, switch to the other side. You might've done these in classes. Squeeze that down glute, reach. The reason we're alternating is we're giving a little break in between so we can get a little extra stretch by giving it a chance to relax, switch. Plus it makes it a little more like a movement, right? More like doing lunges something like that. We're adding a little strength in with the flexibility. You're going from tall kneeling to half kneeling. You can try not to use your hands as we switch back and forth. If you don't feel as much of a stretch here, you can step that leg, that front leg a little further forward and really drive into it. Notice this angle changes. Chest is still big, reaching to the front of the room. Switch, let's go one more on each side. And I would challenge you to switch that and slide that foot out. Maybe each time we do this quad hip flexor stretch to really get into those hip flexors and quads. You can also elevate that back foot if you have a pillow or something. So we can make these as hard or as light as we want within these stretches. They're getting out what you're putting in. So I, anytime we're doing active recovery like this, we want you to do what you're comfortable with. We'll show you some different ones. You can do kind of your, your create your own story, relax. How far do you want this to go? All right, now our actual active piece, lateral lunge, drop lunge, or lateral lunge, curtsy lunge. We just worked those adduction muscles. We also just loosened up our hip flexors a little bit. So I want these to look really good. You're gonna step out into that lateral lunge position. Make sure your knee inside your toe. Drive back up. Now I'm gonna sweep that leg in and behind my other and drop it down to the ground. Tap that knee, come right back up, back into that lateral lunge, okay? Drive that hip back. Make sure your knee doesn't beat your toe. It's not way in front. 
sweep it back. We're just gonna do four of these on each side. Out, control, drop, push, sweep it in behind. Good job. So we have two real mobility pieces and then some active recovery movements, which are what these next two are. Really working those muscles, quads, hamstrings, hips, dropping down. Good. Switch to the other side. Get yourself set. Okay. Here we go. Lateral lunge. Just like that stretch before, make sure those toes are pointing forward. Drop that knee. Good. Lateral lunge. Drop lunge. Okay. Notice my knee is in behind my foot, right? So I'm creating tension going further behind my leg. I'm not parallel with my knee or my knee to my heel. I'm actually stepping in and behind. I get that stretch down that glute and into my IT band a little bit. Drop lunge is a good, this actually, this whole movement right here is a good one to do if you're gonna go for a run, because you're kind of activating all those muscles that we need in that running. Drop lunge back and up. Nice, shake those legs out for a second, okay? Next one, we are going inverted hamstring, open rotation. So if you need something to put your hands on for balance, please get that, okay? It could be anything, chair, uh, stability ball, anything. Be careful with kids or dogs because they'll take off and you'll fall over. We don't want that, okay? So inverted hamstring, soft bend in my left leg, coming into that inverted hamstring, nice and long through the top of my head to my heel. Now I'm gonna open up rotation. So I'm gonna reach same hand, to big toe. So I'm opening up, I'm turning my toe towards you guys, opening this hip towards the sky, close it back down, come up. Okay. Now I grabbed a little stability thing here just in case, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. I was actually pretty good on my first one. Here we go down. I'm going to grab something here. Okay. I'm going to find stability, get nice and long, then I'm going to open up. Okay, and I'm actually gonna draw my ribs back. I'm gonna find that balance. Now I'm using this as balance now so I can get a little more open, okay? It's up to you if you wanna train your balance a little more or if you wanna go into that wide open movement, okay? Totally up to you. If you wanna open your hips more, works really good having something to hold on to. Okay, so here we go again. Nice and set. We're switching to the other side. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna open up. Okay, notice that I'm turning my toe towards you, opening this hip up, making myself big, closing back down, and coming up. It's hard in 2D, right? It's hard in 2D to really see what's happening here. But this is a good movement to do. Again, a really good one if you're a runner, rock climber, hiker, open up, sports enthusiast, ultimate frisbee list goes on and on close down and come up all right grab a quick drink quick drink of water checking our time oh yeah we're doing good okay we're gonna go through the stretches again and then we're gonna go through a little active cardio nothing crazy but we are gonna get our heart rate up a little bit okay <clears throat> so we're gonna go back into that leg abducted t-spine rotation we are gonna go or, uh, level two, okay? So we're gonna do the reach under, rotate up with our hand, okay? So get into that good position. You already know the position, so we're gonna get ourselves locked in, sit back just a little bit, thread the needle, reaching under. Notice I can't get very far, and I'm not expecting you to either. That's the closed side. Get that little rotation, rotate open, up towards the sky. Plug those fingers into the sky, hold for a breath, Tuck under, rotate up, just three here. We're busting through this next round. Under, up, 
So this is where you might start to sweat because we're not taking slow movements here. Go ahead and switch to the other side, just three on each side, get set. Get yourself set, make sure that toe's pointed forward. Make sure your hand and your leg on the downside are lined up. Sit back just a little, rotate under. Now this one's even tighter for me. Rotate up. Good, underneath. Good job guys, really get through these movements, really push into that stretch a little bit, not into pain but we do want to push past comfortable just a little bit. With our breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth as we rotate. And down, good. Quad hip flexor, you guys know it now. Get yourself set, down, locked in. Step that foot out. Remember the challenge, we're stepping out a little further. Squeeze that glute, reach to the front of the room. Drive forward, drive your hips like there's headlights on them and you're pushing them to the front of the room. Back, tall kneel, switch legs. Try not to use your hands, drive to the front of the room. Reach back, good, switch. Try not to use those hands, try to stay balanced, reach. It's amazing what you can do when you're forcing yourself to do things without your hands. Back, good, switch, press. Now one more each side. You guys are doing amazing today, good job. Keep those movements nice and crisp. Think about all those little things we talked about, squeezing that down glute, keeping that core tight. Last one, switch, press. and relax. Now this next one, we are pairing our lateral lunge, drop lunge to inverted hamstring. No rotation with the inverted hamstring, but we are gonna pair this movement. So you know lateral lunge, you know drop lunge. The only thing you have to pay attention to on the first one is how I get into that inverted hamstring. Okay, so we're gonna go lateral lunge, stepping out, dropping down, drive up off of that outside leg, sweep it back. Drop it down, tap that floor, come up. Now you know your base leg is your left. You're gonna come back to center, dunk, dunk, dunk. I'm gonna switch so you can see. Soft bend in that knee already, inverted hamstring. Stand up nice and tall. Now guess what, same side, lateral lunge. Drop lunge, you look really cool when you do these flow like type movements because you're able to control yourself in space. Inverted hamstring, coming into that inverted hamstring, don't tip over, find your balance, come up nice and tall. Good, switching sides, just two. Here we go, lateral lunge, drop lunge, inverted hamstring, find that balance, come down. My right leg is not my good leg, so I'm gonna really work on that balance. Come up, good, lateral lunge. Notice I didn't try to touch my foot that entire time. Lateral lunge, drop lunge. That's another challenge when we're doing flow movements, trying to leave one leg off the ground as much as you can. So you're really struggling to find that balance. Inverted hamstring. And up and shake it out. Nice work, guys. Grab a quick drink. We're gonna go into Whew. our little cardio. We have two rounds of 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, okay? So while you're listening, take your drink, okay? Get yourself ready. First one, we're gonna do shuffle, just back and forth. So we're just gonna shuffle side to side in the space you have. Even if it's only a couple of steps, that's fine. Don't bring your feet together. If we were in person and I saw your feet come together, I'd poke you, you'd fall over, okay? So stay in that good base position, push and recover, never let those feet come together. Quick feet, okay, 20 seconds, just moving back and forth. Next one, single leg split squat. We're just gonna rep it out. Get in as many split squats as you can, okay? And our last one, hollow body hold. The reason we're doing it twice, we're just doing split squat one side, then we're gonna do hollow body hold, 
Then we're gonna do our shuffles and then we're gonna come back to your other leg. So it's two rounds, okay? So let's go, get yourselves ready. Got about 10 seconds and we're gonna get started. Five, four, three, two, one, and shuffle. Keep those hands off of your feet. Okay, just moving back and forth quick. Don't let those feet come together. Keep moving. You're doing good, you're 10 seconds in. Stay low like you're in a low room. Don't hit your head on the ceiling. Quick feet back and forth. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, split squat, whichever leg you're starting with in five seconds, get in your staggered stance. Three, two, one, go, get in as many reps as you can. We don't step together, it's not a lunge, it's a split squat. Halfway, doing good. Three, two, one, and rest. Hollow body hold position. If you've never done one, you're just finding that balance point right there. Feet and shoulders off the ground. Three, two, one, go. 20 seconds. Whew. This is your active recovery piece. This is your cardio, but you're also getting core in. So make sure you hold it as much as you can. You're doing good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Back to our shuffles. Round two. Five seconds. Come on, guys. You got this. Three, two, one, and go. Make it quick. Don't be any slower than last time. Stay in that short room. Quick feet back and forth. If you want, you could pretend to be your favorite basketball player. You're on defense. Okay, same with soccer, but you wouldn't use your hands, right? Soccer, we don't use our hands. Doing good. And rest. Split squat, other leg. Make sure your other leg's forward. Five, four, three, two, one. And ding, ding, ding. Let's go. Keep that chest up. Don't let your chest come down. Don't use your hands on your leg. You're halfway, come on. Push through, doing good. Five seconds, two, one, rest, hollow body hold. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and go, hollow hold. Lock in, nice and strong. Feet off the ground, shoulders off the ground. Keep breathing. You're doing good. Come on. Push through it. 10 more seconds. Hold, hold, hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. All right, guys. Now, next is our coach's challenging quote. Okay, it's a short quote today. So if you want coach's challenges for you, if you don't want to, please just stretch. Take a breath, get some water. But if you want to, we're going to do one coach's challenge where we're going two to one leg lowers. So we're relaxed back. We drop one. We drop the other. We bring them both up. Drop one. Drop the other. Bring them both up. Okay. Mm -hmm. While I'm reading the quote, your choice, though, it is not required. So here we go. Get yourself set. Just a little bonus for you if you want it. And coach will do it with you. Here we go. Down, down, up. Good. Just like that. Going in one more round when you don't think you can. That is what makes the difference in your life. Rocky Balboa. I just thought that was such a good quote for anytime we're doing these fitness classes, even a regen class and relax is even when you think you can't go anymore. When you put that last little bit of effort in, that's where the real benefit comes, mind and body. Okay, it might be hard because your body doesn't want to, but if you can get your head to do it, that's even better. All right, guys, here we go. Quote of the, or the joke of the day. What happened to the man who contemplated his future on the treadmill? He realized he was going nowhere fast. Thanks everyone for being here. If you're new to the class, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed it. I will reach out. If you guys ever need anything, you know where to find me. You can email. I am 
we can set up coach consults. We're still doing those as much as we can. So please contact us if you're interested. Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Get some sunshine. Until then, keep moving well, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you all. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you came.